Okay. How's it going, fellow vanguards? Ian here for Car Fight Calgary, and we're still in the noisy room. Or in the noisy house. Hopefully people don't turn off lights this time. Yeah, sorry about that. And we're here- Well, if they do, I'm just gonna go cut a bit, so. <laughs> we're here for one more deck profile with Sean, and let's get started. Yeah, so this is a Trois deck profile, or a Trois, if people want to pronounce yeah. it in a non-French way. But... Uh, yeah, whatever, so... It's for Trois. <laughs> my starter is, uh, Akari. Akari is a, it's a new starter in the Academy of Diva set, and... Okay, I chose not to run the right chain because the right chain is too smoksaki. There's no point. This thing has more uses, I guess. Uh, so its effect is harmony, and then generation break one. Um, if this unit is in harmony, it gains an act ability where so charge it, and then I may choose one of my regards, bounce it, and draw a card. So it nets even, basically, unless I like plus off something else by bouncing it. So yeah, er, I run five draws and. Uh, Drive Quartet because some of my other triggers are Drive Quartet. Uh, this deck needs draws because the deck actually minuses as a re-standing Vanguard and the cost is really heavy. Um, I chose to not run like the normal so-called 12 crits or 6 draws ones because I, don't know, I wanted to have a balance. The 12 crit one has too little defense and the 6 draws is too little offense. So I just have to just sit on the fence at 5. And while I'm sitting on, on the fence at 5, I run 7 crits. The uh, there you go. So I run seven crits. The drive um, quartet right here. <laughs> drive quartet's there. It's there because you know it makes eleven k shit. Like did this actually won me a game just now? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so anyways, um, seven crits is just to uh, bolster the offense that twelve offers to the deck uh, that most Bermudanics don't have from their own vanguards. So yeah, and also because. Well, it's a strat format. Um, it does like one benefit more off crits than it does off any other triggers in general. Uh, and the other draft cortex here, which is pretty obvious. Four heals, pretty standard. The deck, the deck's unflipping engine is not well. It's it's there, but you know you did this really help facilitate the uh, carablas three that Trois brings to the table and other carablas shit I have in the deck. So yeah, okay. So I run, please. <laughs> I run three. Kuras, because these are your unflipping engine. Uh, it's so blast to unflip too. Um, I don't have a Nina, so that's why I don't have like uh, more ni uh, Nina. Yeah, so I don't have different name on un uh, unflippers. So, anyways, um, it's basically to facilitate Twa again because the head deck's very carbless heavy. Uh, and then along with that, I run four of the new perfect guards because they need to unflip. Unflip more, basically. There's not much to say about the unflipping, really. Let's not lie here. Uh, I, I run one of this thing. Um, this thing was the Summer Legion. Well, no, not Legion. Summer Promo, whatever. So uh, it's uh, a regional promo. Yeah, the regional promo. When your Vanguard's in Legion, well, when this unit boosts and your Vanguard's in Legion, the boost unit gains 4k, so it's a 10k booster. It makes twice swing for like 21 or 22, and then 32 or 31 uh, for the second attack, so it's really helpful, I guess. Um, it's not that important, though, to be honest, but since it makes numbers, why not, right? Yeah. One of us. Yeah. Uh, I run 4 Stratasys because I actually only run 7 grade 3s in this deck, although people usually run 8. Uh, I run only 7 grade 3s because I don't have like the use to like use like Riviere's ability um, to drop the Persona copy herself, so I don't really care. Uh, so in place of that I ran like 1 extra Stratasys just so that I can get the strides going and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Uh, I run 2 AK bodies. First of all, it gives you defense that the right chain used to give you, but you don't anymore have. And the other thing is because I run, uh, where are they? Eh, I run 3 Ixo. The only reason I run Ixo is because, so it's a fact is when a unit is placed on, a uh, break 3 is placed on your Vanguard Circle, this unit gets 10k. So if you perform Legion with Riviere, uh, and Riviere hits the Vanguard Circle, this unit plus 3, plus 10,000. So you make lines, basically. Uh, I chose not to run Faluka because you don't really need the soul when you keep on rewriting. So, yeah. And you uh, have the ways of getting soul blast out, so. Yeah. The rest of the great twos, I run two speakers. They're kind of tech -ins. So, they're your on boost, bounce one, super callback, and that unit gets 3k. It's to facilitate the aggro of the deck along with your three pop parades. Uh, if I could, I would have probably maxed these out, but then, you know, the free finding the great, the top item Riviere with super idol is too good. So, yeah, this is your ideal ride. Um, it doesn't do anything else except for on the Vanguard Circle, but whatever, it'll plus you by one, even if you GSS it to Trois, so why not, right? So the rest of the great threes is pretty obvious, it's three Riviers. Um, nobody needs to know why it does, really. And four Trois. Eh. You're so far away! <laughs> so, 
Plausibility is card plus three. I think after battle this unit attack a Vanguard. Yeah, attack the Vanguard. Basically stand this whole whole this. So unit it's a guaranteed if it's stand. Legion, if it's in Legion, basically. Guaranteed stand. Yeah, and the other ability is when this unit rides on Super Idol Riviere, you may search your deck for a top Idol Riviere and add it to your hand. So basically, if you go second and you ride this on that, you will fish this out in your stripe for you straight away. So yeah, that's that's basically and. The other reason for this, I guess, is, to, is in the off chance you write this stupid piece of shit, then you're at actually 11k instead of 10k. So, so just as a talking point on this one, is, um, just gonna, we're going to go tech talk a little bit here. Okay. So although you do get the, I guess, a plus one if you do ride into it, isn't it like a minus one if you ride into anything, if you have to ride into anything else? Yeah, hmm. it's a minus one if I have to write this, technically, because, yeah. But another way of looking at it is that I have another soul for Kuras. That's right. true. Yeah, but well, I mean, like, like I guess later you'll pro you'll plus one, but in the immediate, um, yeah, in a game where striding first is so important, wouldn't it, it really does seem like it'd be minus one in most cases if kind you had of. to, especially if you miss that ride. Yeah, especially considering how you don't actually plus anymore because I don't run the ride chain, yeah. so riding this actually doesn't do you any like justice. It's, it, this is the other reason why I only run three because I don't want to ride it to her. I'd much rather be G assisting to the twat and riding into this. That's the other thing, right? Um, that's that's the thing. Uh, I, I could always max out the pot parades and speakers by not running this, but... Uh, the, 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 the potential is too good. Yeah, the, the potential of actually plussing one with this is, is really good, so I guess why not? Um, and if you're going second and you do ride into this and get this for free, mm -hmm. you are going to plus a lot harder. You're going to end up plussing probably at least two yeah. because of the triple buff. Yeah. Depending on what I check and everything, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, that that's pretty much it for the main deck, which is like messy as shit. So okay, so the deck I run, I run one Madu. Uh, it's kind of obvious. Yeah, it's basically when my Vanguard's in Legion, I'll just fish back the Twa if I really need to to prevent deckouts, and it's a plus one in that sense. So yeah, it also I guess ready if you really want to use Revere's ability, ready's Revere in your hand. That's basically it. I run two. Uh, sorry, not two. I uh, so I run one. Um, Amoris. Amoris. Uh, Amoris is only to um, reset my board and reset harmony because there's there's not many ways to bounce in the deck, and I need to bounce both Kuras. I need to bounce things that wants to go behind Potpourri, and I want to bounce uh, whatever crap I don't want really, and we just reposition the board like for Excel and the AK Grade One. So yeah. What's this? No, no, I don't want you. I run two Somni just on hit pressure, as usual. Um, since the deck's already so aggro, why not bolster the aggro, right? And I run four Olivia's, which is pretty obvious. Uh, Olivia's oh, don't know what Olivia does. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Olivia's ability is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, Crown Blast 1, G Persona Blast itself. Uh, Pick up. Choose up to five of my rear guards, and if all of them have different names, return them all to my hand. And then if I, I if I return three or more this way, I may superior call two to separate rows. And then if I do this, it gets a critical till the end of the battle. Is it battle? Is it turn? Not that it really matters. Battle. So yeah, uh, it's it's really aggro, and it also helps to reposition your board. And basically, I guess once you drop two Olivia's. Your opponent will probably be at 4 or 5 damage, and then your 12 will basically end the game. That's standing banger shit. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, with the XO and shit, you, you probably end the game even faster when you perform Legion, so yeah. Anyway, so that's the review deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hi, Lanray. <laughs> and uh, as always, my fellow bangers, rest sure to stand up to the occasion. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Here, I'll, I'll give you a shout for your efforts. Yes.